outset, let me congratulate the whole team of Sikoji for coming up this, uh, with, with the startup of Sikoji, which, is, which says Revised Tested Master. And I also congratulate the partners in coming up with uh, this startup. As we all know, though Mr. Kondalidi has put the things very, in a very simple manner, saying that the students have to be taken additional classes for the revision, for the test, and for mastering a subject. I think uh, we all, all of us uh, have gone through all the problems, what all we have faced in the schooling days or the college days. Uh, one thing, one fact what you have to accept is, the student, whoever feels that he is weak in a particular topic, as he said, he was talking about the uh, uh, geometry or magnetism in different subjects, whatever it is. Whenever a student feels that he is weak in that subject, he has to accept. The problem with uh, most of these young mothers, with the parents who are sitting here also, most of the time they feel that because the student has read well in, at, at home and they expect the students to get good marks at the school, which, which is not happen, which was not happening before, which is not going to happen also. Because these days the testing itself, the methodology of the testing itself is different. The teachers are expecting lateral thinking. As Mr. Kondalidi has rightly said, he has faced those problems when he went to the other countries for his higher education, and with the expertise and the and the exposure of what he had in the UK, and the, the, the same with uh, Mr. Sudhir also, because having studied a degree in India and having gone abroad, first thing they face is the accent is an issue, second thing is understanding a subject is an issue, and the way it is being taught in other countries is also an issue. Because there, it is not the teacher, the teacher-student uh, relationship is different, there you can have one-to-one -one classes there. And the problem here also has to be the same thing. It does not mean the practice, what we were practicing in, in our 50, 60 years back is still being practiced. In 80% of the schools, it is the same issue. The teacher teaches to 40 students or 50 students and expect all the students to gear up and cope up with the same uh, understanding, which is not practically possible, as we all, uh, as we all know. In spite then, the problem is, the acceptance by the, the principal, the teachers, or the students is not happening. But when you go and abroad and talk to the teachers, when you go and abroad and talk to the students, they, they, they feel the difference. Because when a particular subject does not mean that you have to pick up all the subjects in the curriculum, you can pick, up, you can pick and choose. So having picked and choose, you should become an expertise in that. So whenever you talk to a foreigner or whenever who comes back from a, a master's degree, they say their expertise is only in one subject. When you talk, when you try to bypass that subject and ask something else, he, he simply answers saying that I'm expertise in this subject. Atlundale, that, that should be the confidence with uh, which he has to come back on a particular subject. So for that, what happens? Suppose you talk about any Newton's laws or whatever it is. When you talk about it, it does not mean that you have to buy heart all the three laws and keep on repeating and remembering and re reminding them. You have to understand the concept of the laws then only you can really interact on the particular subject, then you can apply those laws in the real life, which was not happening before. Chinnapur Nokade system, Bati Gotali, Mark Full Rayal, Rasta 48 by 50 Ochina, 50 by 50 Ochina. That was the only thing what we used to have. These days, the problem with the students also, the students are, do not bother or care about the marks what are given to them. That is a good thing. The only thing is they should have a command and control on the subject, what all they have learned. As Mr. Kondalidi has rightly said, I, I, what I feel is student, whenever a, a student does not understand a particular subject, he feels shy. Should I tell the teacher that I have not understood? Because 50 students will be there, only maximum 5, five to 10 but, uh, students will be understanding whatever the teacher might have taught them. The rest 40 will not, will not really understand the whole concept. But the problem is the shyness. Who has to get up and say that, can you please repeat it? Because the teachers also these days, they don't have time to repeat the classes, whereas that is not uh, the case in other countries, and that is not the case in startups like this, these uh, Sikoji or whatever it is. I request all the school, I suppose some management of schools have come here, or the management of Sikoji to percolate into the ground level, to percolate into the village level, and talk to the management of the uh, schools there, talk to the students in, in, on one-to-one, interact with them, talk to them and uh, see their understanding, then you'll understand, then you can gauge what, what, what is the 
teaching methodology, what is the level of understanding at the village level, at the mandal level, at the district level. It is not the same. I think depending on the degree of problem, we have to accommodate all these things. And does not mean that CQG has to be there only in English. Because most of the students these days, they are, they are moving out from their uh, from Telugu medium to English medium. When they move out of, from Telugu medium to English medium, what, what it will really help if the CQG WhatsApp, uh, the startup program comes up in the, in the local media also. At least the people who do not understand the things in English, they will learn it in Telugu, then they will buy heart the things in, things in English. And it can't be important what, during my schooling days or college those days also, on the day of exam, the most important thing was the revision. Because what all we have learned, and the last minute, it is the revision which matters. Because in the revision, if you can cover all the subjects, all the topics, then only you can put forth everything in the examination paper. That was that is supposed to be done. So the thing is, if how best to come up with the re revision before the exam will definitely help you in getting a good scores. Atla, when 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 the revision is possible, then you have to apply for go for the test, as they rightly said, testing. We suppose if we are really performing the best in the test, it is good. Or else you can, after that hour, also you can master the things. So if this sequence continues, and if this can be applied at the school level, at the intermediate level, the, you should go and talk to the students saying that they should not feel shy having not understood. There is nothing wrong in not, in, in not understanding a particular concept. Adi Arthanjiyas could a parent say, teacher say, and second thing, Mr. Kondal Reddy, I would, I would also want, uh, want to say that, does not mean that all the tutors whom we are going to employ are really masters in those subjects. First, uh, train your tutors also on all the subjects because they should be an expertise in the subject what they are teaching. The command and control what they have, they can really uh, percolate the subject into the ground level. So, wishing the whole team the very best. I, mean, I think I am bothering you and boring you. Can I, this is the practical problem what every student has faced, what students are going to face in the days to come also. Having understood, the teacher has to say that only 10% of the students have understood the subject and Apudu, as long as the tutor is convinced, then only he can percolate the subject downwards. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you. Good morning, friends. Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate uh, Dr. Reddy on launching the CQG. I think it's the need of the hour. Um, you know, because the education system, Indians are brilliant, students do extremely well, but uh, the system, I think, uh, it's more of a, a test of memory than test of knowledge. Uh, like, he's come from the West, so he's very familiar with the system. And uh, there's a lot of competition in India in education, I know. It's very difficult to get into an IIT or RIM compared to getting into an Ivy League in the, in the West. It's easier to get into an Ivy League, Ivy League than to get into... Thing. But the only thing in India what we need to improve is, you know, we need from shift from this test of memory to test of knowledge because most of the universities in the West are rated on the uh, research they do, you know, the, the, the rating is more on the research and the, the uh, papers they produce. So we need to move towards, uh, more towards research and the, re the reason is, you know, innovations come from research, like, you know, most of the inventions or you see software we do a lot of software work in india but most of it is you know just working for companies which uh, pro uh, make products so most of the uh, innovations in, in in it or even in pharma we have a lot of pharma in india but you know most of the innovations come from the west so we need to be more innovative this is what uh, dr reddy is doing i really appreciate and uh, wish him all the best and for a country to be prosperous, successful, global power, you need to have quality education and quality health. So we have a lot of education institutes and also you know, health industry, but we need to work towards pro having quality uh, education system, which I'm sure Dr. Reddy will, is working towards it and will achieve. Uh, we wish him all the best. And I represent Kazakhstan as uh, Council General for Telangana and Andhra. We have a lot of uh, you know, requirement or demand or opportunity in education and health in that part of the world. I advise the government, so I would also request and invite Dr. Reddy to you know, look at uh, setting up uh, or doing something in that area in, in Kazakhstan. I would like to invite him to visit Kazakhstan and be my guest. I'll be honored uh, if he was. Uh, thank you, Dr. Reddy, for inviting me, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Yeah, CQG simply is a powerful tool to do two, three things. 
revise, they can quickly revise any subject and then they can test the areas that they are weak or they are strong in and then we provide a diagnostic report based on our multiple choice question test and then we produce an automated diagnostic report specific to that student. Using that report, diagnostic report, the tutor, one-to-one -one tutor will help address the weak areas of the student and then they teach them those weak concepts. So that's the key. So they can revise using our unique mind maps, they can do the testing using diagnostic test and learn the concepts using one-to-one -one tutoring only in the weakness area. So you register on our CQG website or using our CQG app in both Google Android or Apple devices, you can download. After you download and register, our mind maps and revision is completely free. Whereas the academic diagnostic tests, unlimited tests in all subjects, cost only 300 rupees or 3000 rupees per year or 300 rupees per month. The tuitions, once you have the tests, will only cost 250 rupees per session. So that's that. But the whole revision is completely free. Anybody can register it for free and access our learning tools on CQG for free. We have done CBSE and state board syllabuses for math, science, social and English in English medium first. But we are planning to extend to other languages. But in the initial stage, we have already launched for English medium for CBSE and SSC, AP and Telangana curriculum for 6 to 10 in all four core subjects, science, math, social and English. Main objective of CQG and Prashna ki పిల్లలకి జనరల్ గా వాళ్ళు చదువుతున్న దాంట్లో ఏం చదువుకున్నారు ఏం వచ్చు ఏం రాలేదు అనే క్లారిటీ చాలా మందికి మిస్ అవుతుంది ఈవెన్ యాజ్ అ ప్రోగ్రెసివ్ పేరెంట్స్ మనం కూడా ఇప్పుడు నా పిల్లలతో మాట్లాడినప్పుడు నా నాను ఏమేం చాప్టర్లు అయినాయి ఏం చదువుతున్నావు ఏం వచ్చు ఏం రాదు అన్నప్పుడు వాళ్ళకి మార్క్స్ ఏం వస్తున్నాయి రావట్లేదు కొంతవరకు తెలుస్తుంది కానీ ఎగ్జాక్ట్గా ఆ పర్టికులర్ సబ్జెక్ట్లో కానీ లెసన్స్లో కానీ ఏం వచ్చు ఏం రాలేదని చెప్పలేకపోతున్నారు ఆ పర్టికులర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ని అడ్రస్ చేయడానికి సీకోజీ విల్ హెల్ప్ దెమ్ ఏ రకంగా అంటే వాళ్ళు టెస్ట్ తీసుకున్నప్పుడు మా డయాగ్నస్టిక్ రిపోర్ట్ అకాడమిక్ డయాగ్నస్టిక్ రిపోర్ట్ అనేది వాళ్ళను టెస్ట్ తీసుకున్న తర్వాత ఎగ్జాక్ట్గా ఎక్కడ ఏ కాన్సెప్ట్లు వానికి వచ్చు ఏ కాన్సెప్ట్ వాళ్ళకి రావు అనేది చెప్తారు కాబట్టి వాళ్ళు ఏ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ అయితే రావో ఆ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ మాత్రమే నేర్చుకొని దే కెన్ ఫిక్స్ ద గ్యాప్స్ సో నేర్చుకుంటున్నప్పుడు వచ్చే లెర్నింగ్ గ్యాప్స్ని మా యాప్ ద్వారా దే కెన్ ఫిక్స్ ఇట్ సే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మ్యాథ్స్ కనుక తీసుకున్నట్టయితే నెంబర్ సిస్టంలో తీసుకున్నట్టయితే దాంట్లో సరిగా చేయలేకపోతున్నారు అంటే కనుక నెంబర్ లైన్ అనే కాన్సెప్ట్ మిస్ అయ్యి ఉండొచ్చు వాళ్ళకి మామూలుగా అయితే దాన్ని తెలుసుకోవడం చాలా కష్టము మా యాప్ ద్వారా వాళ్ళు టెస్ట్ తీసుకున్న తర్వాత దాంట్లో కాన్సెప్ట్స్లో నెంబర్ లైన్ అనే కాన్సెప్ట్ మిస్ అయింది కాబట్టి నాకు ఆల్జిబ్రా అనే కాన్సెప్ట్స్లో క్వశ్చన్ చేయాలన్నా అర్థం చేసుకోవాలని ఇబ్బంది అవుతుంది ఈ ఆల్జిబ్రాలో ప్రాబ్లం రాడి కారణము బిగినింగ్ స్టేజ్లో నాకు నెంబర్ లైన్ అయిన అనే కాన్సెప్ట్ మిస్ అయి ఉండొచ్చు అది తెలిసినప్పుడు నేను దాన్ని ఫిక్స్ చేసుకోవడం ఈజీ ఆర్ టు పుట్ ఇట్ సింపుల్ ఒక టీచర్ దగ్గర కానీ ఎవరికైనా వెళ్ళేసి సార్ నాకు మ్యాథ్స్ రావట్లేదు నేర్పించండి అన్న దానికి క్లాస్ సెవెంత్లో నెంబర్ సిస్టంలో నెంబర్ లైన్ అనేది అర్థం కాలేదు అంటే ఏ టీచర్కైనా ఐదు నిమిషాల్లో నేర్పించగలుగుతారు అంత ప్రిసైజ్గా వాళ్ళకి ఏం వచ్చి ఏం రాలేదు అనేది మా మా యాప్ ద్వారా దాన్ని తెలుసుకోగలుగుతారు ఒకసారి ప్రాబ్లం ఐడెంటిఫై చేసుకున్నప్పుడు ఫిక్స్ చేసుకోవడం చాలా త